Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? When I would have asked them all, y'all thought it was winning? You almost done? No, go find another machine. It's too crowded. All the other machines are taken. What you just witnessed is a common occurrence in the local Penn State gyms. The gym's a decent size, but is not nearly large enough to provide for the huge amount of students who are attending Penn State. As a daily gym goer, I have spent my great deal of time at the gym waiting for equipment to open up just like many others. Waiting is almost never fun, and I bet a majority of people can agree with me. I'm a freshman at Penn State University, and I have been going to the gym almost every day since I've been here. From personal experience and observations, the Penn State gyms are usually too crowded to properly work out. I have also done a survey where I asked fellow Penn State students what their thoughts were on the gyms. The results of the survey were as follows. 31 of the 40 students I surveyed believed that the Penn State gyms were overcrowded and... Do you think the Penn State gyms are overcrowded? Yeah, sometimes we have to wait a lot to use certain machines, it can be very annoying. Definitely, for sure. Um, being at Penn State gyms is kind of like being at the mall at Christmas time. You have to go, but you don't want to. There are many different factors that cause the gyms to be overcrowded. Some of those factors are that people are going to the gym around the same time as others, which also ties into the next cause, which is everyone being on the same schedule due to classes and the times that the dining halls are open. But the main, main reason I believe the gyms are overcrowded are because of how big of a student body our university has and the lack of size of the current gyms. Due to the overcrowding of the gyms, there are many effects that rise. First of those effects are that students are spending extra time than necessary at the gym because of all the waiting. This may lead to students losing time to do other things like study for their classes. The second effect is that the constant waiting for equipment causes a tension between those in the gym. No one likes waiting, so this tension builds a hostile environment. The third effect is that the students may stop going to the gym because they are so crowded and this will hurt the students' mental and physical health. Now I'd like you to hear from a fellow Penn State freshman that I interviewed about his thoughts on the Penn State gyms. Alright Trevor, how often do you go to the gym? I go to the gym every day. What is your opinion on the size of the gym and the number of people that utilize it? I think that the gym is not big enough for the amount of people that try to use the equipment. All right, next question is, do you agree with the statement that the gyms are overcrowded? And if so, how do you know this is true? I think that too many people go to the gym at once, so there's not enough equipment or machines for everybody to use it and to get in the right workout. Um, I think that there's just too many long lines to get the right equipment and it takes too long to get a workout in. How, have you witnessed this firsthand or has this happened to you? Um, yeah, I've been stuck in a line for a certain like machine or to try and get a bench in and it just takes away from the workouts. Alright, what changes would you make in order to solve this problem? I would maybe add more machines or more focused machines, maybe expand upon the current gym. Alright, thank you Trevor. Currently, nothing that I am aware of is being changed to fix the problem we face. It is important for this change because it will promote more physical fitness across the campus, improve the general culture and environment of the gyms, and allow many students to go to the gym and get the work, workout done in time in order for them to spend more time on other activities like homework and studying. Because the fitness centers on Penn State campus are becoming overcrowded, the Board of Penn State should agree to build additions to the current fitness centers that include expanding the space of the gyms and also providing more equipment to be used. Additions to the current fitness centers will allow for more students to access these facilities and not be as crowded as they currently are. My solution will address the problem we face where the gyms are not big enough and do not have enough equipment for the amount of students that our university has. In order for this problem to be solved, the Board of Penn State will have to agree to making these additions that I am pro proposing. So I am addressing both the students of Penn State and the Board with this problem. In order for the Board to recognize this problem, my fellow students must join me in my journey to make a change. If the Board were to come to an agreement that this problem needs to be fixed, there will be a few questions that will need to be answered. First question is, who will pay? In this upcoming semester, the fitness centers plan to make all facilities free for all students with a valid ID card. My idea is that the fitness centers keep the membership fee and all the money made from memberships goes towards the additions proposed. Once the funding requirements are met, 
The next step would just to be to hire the contractors that will construct the additions to the gym and also buy more equipment to be put in the fitness centers. After that, it's just a matter of waiting for it all to be done and set. Making renovations to a current gym would be nothing new for Penn State. They've done it in the past and they can do it again. In 2013, the renovations of the intramural building began in order to accommodate for all the new students who are trying to get involved in intramural sports and the fitness center. With the growth and popularity of fitness increasing at an alarming rate, the campus gyms will need to be renovated eventually. In a health article published by fitness expert and columnist Ali Luke, it said the amount of people who have gym memberships have increased by 10% over the past three years. Over 50 million Americans have a type of membership like this. This new addition is necessary to meet the needs of the growing Penn State community. From the survey I conducted, 29 of the 40 participants agreed that Penn State gyms need additions made. What changes do you think should be made to the current gyms? We should make sure every gym is open at all times and add more machines and weights into every gym. We need to make renovations such as making the gym bigger and probably adding some more equipment. One of the alternative solutions to this problem would be to build a completely different gym from the three that already exist. Although this seems like a good idea, there are many things that would make the solution not so feasible. The first question that arises is, where would this new fitness center be built? The campus is already packed with buildings, and to my knowledge, that would not be, there would not be room for another gym. This solution would also cost the university a huge amount of money, and where would that money come from? Another alternate plan would be to open the gyms on later hours, maybe even 24 hours. The problem with this plan is that no one wants to go to the gym at 3 in the morning. My plan is a lot more feasible than this one because it does not require for a whole new building to be built and it will cost much less money. As you can see, the current state of the Penn State gyms are not satisfactory for the amount of students that are on campus. The gyms become very overcrowded and this has a negative effect on the students of Penn State. So I am asking you now to join me in my goal to have our campus fitness centers improved not only just for the students and myself, but for everyone on campus in the Penn State community. Thank you.